Did you know, the earliest recorded history dates back to roughly 5,000 years ago. There's something fascinating about finding these old archives. It allows us to connect directly with the past, if we manage to gather enough information about it. Finding what people believed, what civilizations existed before and what the day-to-day -day life of people were like throughout the history, has always been a topic of interest. Even the most basic but important purpose of life is to reproduce, and leave something of our existence behind. So, it is only natural, that people will want to record their life and culture in texts and archives. It is our archaeological duty to the future generations to produce records of daily life. Rather than leaving the records in a chaotic mess, it is better to do so in an organized manner. This is probably how the time capsule's idea came into light. Time capsules are one of mankind's brilliant ideas which involves resisting the passing of age and time to preserve information physically for the generations to come. One of such time capsules located at Oglethorpe University in Brookhaven, Georgia, is destined to be opened in 8113 AD. The time capsule is known as the Crypt of Civilization. It is the oldest millennial time capsule in conception and the largest in the world, covering 2,000 cubic foot of space, measuring 20 feet long, 10 feet wide, and 10 feet high. It started with a man named Thornwell Jacobs, who, 75 years ago, published an article in the November issue of Scientific American, proposing the creation of a time capsule that would preserve a record of civilization in 1936. The sole purpose of the project was to provide the running story of life, customs and manners of civilization of the year 1936 to a civilization unthought of for them to study. After four years of preparation, the crypt was officially sealed on May 28, 1940. The site proposed for the preservation project was in the basement of Phoebe Hearst Hall at Oglethorpe University. The foundation of the building rests on granite bedrock of the Appalachian Mountains, which, Jacobs felt would stand the test of time. The basement was previously a swimming pool, and the conversion into the time chamber involved lining the walls with enamel plating. After some research, Jacobs decided the best way to preserve items would be to place them in steel receptacles with glass linings, filled with inert gas of nitrogen to prevent oxidation and aging. Additionally, the chamber is covered with a 7-foot thick stone roof, which is further covered by the 2-foot stone floor above. The crypt is sealed by a stainless steel door welded shut, not to be opened until the time is right. Jacobs marked the year when the crypt of civilization should be opened, by determining the year that had passed between the first fixed year in history and 1936. Counting the number of years that had passed between the two points in history, we get 6,177 years. Therefore, allowing the same amount of time to pass would mean the crypt of civilization would be opened in 8113 AD. Being inspired by Egyptian tombs, the chamber resembles cell of an Egyptian pyramid, with walls lined with plaques containing illustrations by George L. Carlson, in the form of pictographs, which tells the history of communications, and explain how to access the treasures kept in the time capsule. The chamber contains artifacts among which many were donated, including contributions from King Gustav V of Sweden and Eastman Kodak. It contains a microfilm of over 640,000 pages from more than 800 works on classic works of literature, including the Bible, the Quran, Homer's Iliad, and Dante's Inferno. The crypt also contains speeches by Hitler, Stalin, Roosevelt, and Chamberlain, as well as the voices of Popeye the Sailor and a champion hog caller. Electric microfilm readers and projectors were also kept in the vault to enable viewing and listening to these recordings. They provided a generator as well as a 7 power magnifier to read the microfilm records by hand in the event that the current form of electricity is not in use in 8113 AD. Other items include radio, toaster, seed samples, beer, woman's purse and many more, but no gold, jewelry or valuable items. Jacobs left a note to the people of 8113 AD helping for future efforts for preservation, saying, The world is engaged in burying our civilization forever, and here in this crypt we leave it to you. It remains sealed under the watchful eye of the International Time Capsule Society. If everything goes according to plan, none of us will be alive to witness the opening of the chamber.